Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of the Family Chit Chat. I want to start off by sharing you two separate lists. So the first list I'm going to share with you, I want you to pause the screen and discuss with your friends and your family how those words make you feel. Okay, and then when you're done, press play and we'll show you the next list. All right, how do those make you feel? If you're like me, those words probably didn't make you feel very nice and happy about yourself. But now I want to show you a second list. I want you to do the same thing. Look at the list, pause the video, and discuss with your friends and your family how those words made you feel. All right, ready? Now again, if you're like me, that second list of words made me feel much better than that first set of words. You know, the problem is that you know, we use our words and sometimes we say things that we may not mean but are mean and hurtful to other people and they can really bring people down. But if we choose our words wisely, we can really uplift people. And that's what the Bible says in this verse right here. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. The reality is that our words can either hurt someone else or they can help someone and they encourage someone else. And it really comes down to us and how we choose to speak to other people. And the bottom line of today is that if you want to be wise, you need to think before you speak. So I want to encourage you that in everything that you do, in every word that you say today, tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, that you think before you speak. When we think before we speak, we can really choose wisely what words come out of our mouth and how we talk to other people, and so that we can always be uplifting them, encouraging them, rather than hurting or harm them. So please, think before you speak every time that you should talk to someone else. I also want to encourage you this month to continue to memorize the Bible verse for the month. It is Proverbs 8.10. Choose my teaching instead of silver. Choose knowledge rather than fine gold. If we really want to be wise, we have to go to the source. We have to go to the Bible. We have to go to God to find out how to make wise decisions. So put this to memory, review it with your friends and your family, and really process how you can be, continue to make wise decisions, whether it's in what you speak or where you get wisdom from. So I want to encourage you to do that. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me today. I really hope that you continue to choose to be wise in what you say to other people by thinking before you speak. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week.